African girl. Answers. <laughs> Hello everyone and welcome to my vlog show African Girl Answers, the one place for all African girls under 35. And yes, that includes you who went to see Fifty Shades of Grey with another woman's man. <laughs> I'm your host Sandra Fondufe and the H is silent. Today, I'm going to be talking to you about one of the most glorified porn flicks in the industry, Fifty Shades of Grey. Grey. <laughs> Sava? Well, the movie is based on an internationally best-selling book. Uh, it grossed a lot of money. When it came out and boy, does it teach you how to ditch the missionary position and go for more exciting forms of it. <laughs> First of all, what is the movie about? For those of you who haven't seen it, it's pretty much a story of this, you know, shy college girl from uh, Vancouver University and her name is Anastasia Steele and it's played by Dakota Johnson. Uh, and she pretty much goes to interview this very successful, mysterious entrepreneur called Christian Grey. She does this on, on behalf of her roommate, Kate, who happens to have fallen sick. Now, uh, the role of Christian Grey is also played by Jamie Dornan. I forgot to say that. Okay, so pretty much you have shy little girl over here and you have Mr. Mysterious Rich Man over here. And they meet. Guess what happens? This shy little girl over here finds him mysterious sexy and attractive and he finds her all so innocent and sweet and oh I wonder what I can do to her and you would have then get together and it's <laughs> Mr. Gray is actually a benefactor of her university and is about to speak on undergraduation which is how they even had to interview him in the first place. <laughs> movie it was well lit well shot and it was actually a much better film than it was a book and uh, Sava? the screenwriter the director were female and I, I really loved that I think the reason why that was was when you're talking about a topic that is so uh, um, on that borderline of not really accepted and it's something that might for an insecure person make women look weak I think you want to go with women because it was definitely better told than if a bunch of corny guys decided to tell their story. You know, sexy. I liked it because it was sexy, but it wasn't good writing. And so they kind of like did a good job at least making it work as a as a as a movie. Uh, the seventh thing is the soundtrack. <clears throat> the weekend i love it you killed it it was amazing it was so raw so breathy so present and i felt the sincerity about the song and random fact guys the weekend is actually of ethiopian descent so it's african and, and i love everything that he does but this particular song for this kind of movie worked you guys remember crazy in love beyonce's crazy in love i mean the one where she was like you know the old one but in this version it's so like <laughs> kidding her version is actually like really sexy the other thing that i loved was the imagery like i said good job dop good job gaffers everyone who was on the cinematography team did completely good the lighting is the film is so well lit i swear to god and the scenes are so intimate I mean, in more ways than one, but I mean, in the terms of like the, the shots are so like, oh, uh, you're in the face, you're in the gut, like you're seeing everything happen. When you have Francine Meisler, the casting director of 12 Years a Slave, cast a film, most likely most characters are gonna work. And the lead actress, Dakota, she killed it. I swear to God, like, she held this movie down. One of the best things, the best things about this movie was Dakota's performance. I mean, she was believable. She was present. She did this quirky, innocent, sweet girl so well. And I've personally, I know she's done a lot of films, but I've personally seen her from 21 Jump Street and uh, the, the Social Network. And for me, I loved her interpretation of the role. I think she did so well. And when you have lines that are blah, you know, you don't have that much to work with, but she really made strong choices. And as a fellow actress, I have to give her props. Like, yay, girl, good for you. Mr. Gray, on the other hand, I think he could have made stronger choices, but I mean, he was, I, I liked it. But, but like, something else I really love, like, 
this is such a great conversational starter. You can you can start any conversation with, hey, did you see Fifty Shades of Grey? And the person can either be like, yeah, it was such a great film. And they can be like, no, what makes you think I'm going to see that? What makes you think I'm going to see that? It's a trash. Or they can be like, and be like, oh. Sava? Mira Aura. I mean, no offense. I love you, girl. You're sexy. I love your style of music. I love your style. But, girl, you should have given the chance to an up and coming actress to do this film. Like, your role is so small. You didn't do that much. You said like three lines. If it was it three, I feel like it was even one. I don't remember. I didn't like was when Dakota kept biting her lip, that the corny lip bite. I, I get it. You find the guy attractive. You want him, but like. <laughs> Seven. Yo, guys, like the random ass woman though. So, like she just laid there and just took it, like you know. <laughs> I can't. Like he was moving her, like one. <laughs> What will make me Sandra for Lupe? Me! Lay down there. Wait, I'll be up faster than Kim Kardashian of a broke man's. You know, I'll be up. I'm not gonna be there. And not only that, I'm gonna take you to Amani Oka. Book a conversation. The kind of juju I'll send you away, eh? When I say I will mix the food, things since like plenty of ingredients. I didn't like, okay, this part is not necessarily about the film, it's about you, the audience. You guys are so biased. I don't like the preconceived notion that is going about this film. Oh, Mr. Grey Raptor, this movie is perfect. Are you guys blind or something? No! They are both adults and that's what they're into. If you're not into it, I get it. I understand, but this is what I do when I don't like something. I avoid it. If I don't like you, you're not going to hear from me. If, if, if I don't like your movie, I'm not going to go see it. If I don't like the shoes, I don't buy it. But those of you who don't like it, but you carry your two legs and walk to the theater and actually like watch the movie. <laughs> and and then this is the part I don't like. I saw some girls saying I was raped when I was twelve and, and when I saw this film it just it just brought out that part of me. It just you stimulated me. I, I felt raped all over. Well, lady, whoever raped you, he was very wrong. But you as an adult now have to make decisions for your own self. You saw the trailer. It has been out on social media for a long time. You knew what it was. You knew what it was. Why the hell will you go to the theater and they were showing five other movies, 10 other movies, and I'm just being nice, 13 other movies. And you bought the ticket. Did your rapist take you to the room to go watch the movie? No. So people, please let's take this month really for action. If you, if you bought the ticket, you didn't like it, well, boo, boo. I even heard that some African countries like Nigeria, Kenya, and Tanzania have banned the film. Hmm. I didn't know that our leaders had power or knew how to exercise their power. I'm saying in Kenya, marital rape is legal. In Nigeria, the girls that were taken have never been found. Boko Haram is terrorizing your citizens, making them feel like shit in their own country. And no, nothing is being done about it. Let a movie come out. Now you want to ban it? No, people, that is acting, 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 acting. They're just acting. It is not real. How about you take all that energy and put it to problems that are really real? I'm sure the world will be a much better place if that happens. Now, let me end up. Isn't this so cute? I really like my candies. Like, it's so cute. But it's sticky though. Like, why are you sticky? Like, you just messed up my lipstick. I might even wear lipstick. I forgot. Anyways, my name is Sandra from Dufe Guys. Thank you so much for watching. That was all. I love you guys. And don't forget that if you want to win one of these amazing t-shirts, just go ahead and leave your comments, like this video, share this video, subscribe, and just tell me what you liked and didn't like about the video. Tell me what you liked and did not like about the film. Once more, I take off by you. Please don't hate comments under here. I don't like hate. You don't like hate. Let's just be nice. If you don't like it, just tell me you like it. You don't have to be a about it. <laughs>
African girl, with you the new On do fake it and fake tell you So grab your rubber and get your shoes And get to the nearest to the near you Rapa